over on Instagram for you guys to send in some cues that we could A. And here we are. Oh my god. Alright, we should get the first question out of the way. Okay. The question everybody wants to know. What is it? Are we pregnant? Are we pregnant? Oh my god. <laughs> we have been sharing our fertility journey with you guys, as you probably know. But I think that we just need some time for ourselves. I know that you guys know that by the time this video is going up, that the oh official god. test date has passed and we will know. We're not ready to share the results just yet because yeah. if they're positive, we're going to be very nervous, I'm sure, of something going wrong. And if they're negative, that sucks. We'll need some time. Yes. Yeah. You'll have to wait and see. Hopefully we'll be telling you guys soon-ish, but we will just have just to figure out when we're comfortable sharing and ask that you guys kind of respect the boundary of us not sharing the second we find out. But thank you so much for all of your sweet well wishes and all of your baby yeah, best and you guys gosh. are all so wonderful and supportive yeah, of me. Best. Really appreciate it. How was your first date? How was it? Yeah. It was great. I liked it. It was a nice first date. We went for a walk kind of like around this art festival. Mm -hmm. So there was a big outdoor art festival in the city and we met up. Yeah. And walked around. And Allie took her shoes off and walked barefoot because she got new shoes and they were giving her blisters. <laughs> Hey, I said some me. foolish things that she will not let me live down to this day. Never, ever, ever. We spent like a lot of hours. A I think we met hours. at 7.30. It was supposed to be 7, but she was late. So, strike one. <laughs> we met around 7.30 and then we didn't get home till it was 2.30 or 2. That's a long day though. But that was a very long day. And she asked me to sleep over and I said, no, no, no. I said, you can't walk home alone. Yes. Because it's dark. And she did anyway. I, I was did. like, you could have slept over like not even near me or were you trying to give something else no wazzy next Ooh, tips on flirting with a girl i haven't got any tips because i don't think i was very smooth neither am i the tips is be yourself yeah and like maybe some compliments but a bit funny like poke fun but like in a nice way not in a mean way do you know you know do you know what i mean though? do you know what i mean though do that snoopy must be hiding me here or is it just you? What? That is the worst pickup line I've ever it's heard. It's just you, Snoopy. You're always hot. How long did we date before we moved in together? I think a year and a half-ish. Yes. Which was a good amount of time. I think it's perfect. Yeah. Have we ever broken up? No. Never. Never. Almost. When? We moved in together. Yeesh. Oh, that was a rough time. We didn't. We never broke up. We never came close. I wasn't like by Lizzie, but I thought in my head, this may be for the worst, not for the best. <laughs> Somebody wanted a fertility recap, short and sweet. Okay. So we started our fertility journey in December 2019. We reached out to our fertility clinic to try to get an appointment. They said, it's a 12 month wait. We said, oh my God. No, we said, did you mean 12 weeks? Yes. And she said, no, I meant 12 months. And we were like, oh, okay, okay. Uh, that's for fine. Um, so then we thought we would go travel. COVID came. We did not travel. Got into the clinic earlier than expected. April. Called them on the phone, talked, got all the tests done. That Testing took, took until September. Took a long time. Yes. Three IUIs in October, November, and December. They all didn't work. Yep. Then we decided IVF, so we did of 2021. Got nine frozen embryos, and I got OHSS. I was very sick. And then did transfers in May, August, November, and January. So we, May was chemical pregnancy. Yep. August didn't work. November did work, and it died. So I had a miscarriage in December, and then you tried in January, in January with two embryos. So Ooh. we have used five of our frozen embryos so <sighs> Will far. We get one? Will we Will get we one get two? out of it? Will we'll we see. get any? And we have four embryos still in the freezer. What is your ideal number of kids? I'd say three or four. I'd say three or four. We're on the same page. Are you watching the Olympics? Of and course. And if so, what sports? I haven't watched the Olympics. I just watched them in the background because I've been reading a book that I like. Yeah. But I have been, I really like skating and I only watch the ones that you watch. Yeah. Skating and um, snowboarding. Snowboarding is my favorite. I like all those. Uh, I like snowboarding. I like skiing. I like skating. Those are the ones that are usually on the TV. I don't like hockey just because I don't like hockey. You don't like hockey. 
either. We're bad Canadians. Also, curling is always on, and I find curling so boring. boring. I find it boring. It's like watching paint dry. It's like golf. But wow, I, sorry to any of you no, that curl. No, I was just about to say though, it's a very impressive sport because I can't even walk down the driveway on ice to be able to curl and the precision. Yes. I'm very impressed it's by very every precise. single sport. I just don't enjoy watching curling. I like luge. Oh, I didn't know you liked luge. I like bobsledding. I didn't know that either. You don't put them on. I'm sorry. Do you guys have any drastic differences in interests and how does that work when traveling? So we do, I would say, but not when it comes to traveling. For instance, like the activities we enjoy are the same. Yeah. Whereas at home, you like to watch reality shows, take baths, and I would never do those things. And do like creative things. So, and I like to go and exercise and see friends or read. So I also when like to we read. travel though, we are usually just us and we like to do all the same things when we travel, like explore cafes, uh, Hop what on, else? hop off bus tours <laughs> are a favorite of ours. Um, Go to museums. Like tours of some touristy little places. Hikes. Everything like that. So we like to do all the same things. Rooftop bars and patios. That's, That's our favorite of ours. Is sipping rosé, rosé in the summer. On, on a rooftop, rooftop patio, patio, watching the sunset, eating some fries. We do this on every trip we go on. That's it's our favorite thing to do. Just exploring different French fries of the area. We love French fries. I need to. I it's urgent. Okay. This is make, extremely urgent. I can make you some from scratch. No, I need some good ones. Are you wanna go right now? No, tonight. Okay. Are we lesbians or are we bisexual? Good question. We're different. I am a lesbian. And I am not a lesbian. I am a bisexual. But I don't know that for sure. I might be a pansexual. Okay. I get asked all the time, it, me because I'm the one who runs our YouTube, why I say that we're a lesbian couple, or in general why we say lesbian couple. It's just because of searchability on social media. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't say lesbian and bisexual couple. And wow. I do it for searchability for like youth looking to come out, not for creeps. <laughs> and I don't mind. I don't mind that you say that. No. And I'm, I, like, I always correct people in like, real life or on yeah. the internet if they say lesbians. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty chill about things. You are. I would never be offended. Yeah. And I know that it doesn't offend Allie saying that, so. Yeah, I'm never so offended, mostly ever. You could call me a horse tooth lesbian and I'd still laugh. <laughs> I hope you see this. People comment on our videos it, about our okay, teeth. People hate our teeth me. and I don't understand why. Okay, what's we wrong don't with our teeth? Wait, we don't know who's the horse tooth Somebody lesbian. just commented the, those teeth though or something and I was like, Okay, who's horse tooth? We laugh about Okay, well, they were not about, they were not offended by this. Although please stop. Please <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this kills me so much. When I'm sad I think about this so that I'm no longer sad. Somebody once commented on a video and said a horse toothed lesbian. <laughs> no context. Just we were like, okay, first of all, that's funny. Second of all, who is it? And we still to this day spend the time. We both dying. have teeth that could go. We both for have really common teeth. teeth. It's just the truth. It just is what it is. Yeah. I think it was supposed to be like a dig to hurt our feelings and instead we laugh about instead, it. Instead it brings me immense joy so much that I like when I am at my worst sadness, I say, We're stupid lesbian and then I'm no longer sad. So we laugh about it all the time. Thank you for doing the opposite of what you thought you were going to yeah, do. Yeah, you tried to hurt our feelings, <laughs> but no. you didn't win. <laughs> we benefited from it. Do we have any dog training tips? Stay tuned. Yes. We are going to puppy school with Elsie. Oh, no, I mean Rosie. Elsie needs school. <laughs> so maybe we can take you along for some of the journey of training. Yeah, maybe we could do like a, a yeah. little Rosie oh. rehab of oh. all the tricks we've learned. Not this tricks, really like tips. Uh, because she's really responding very well to the training. Yeah, we've only done one class. It's a six week class. Um, and then maybe we'll do part two. We'll see. And oh, Elsie, unfortunately, wasn't able to get into puppy class because we got her right at the start of COVID when nobody She's knew done. what COVID was or anything. There and we were on a really intense open. lockdown for the entire time that Elsie was in the age category where she could go to puppy school. Mm -hmm. And then when puppy school reopened, they said, sorry, we have to take in all the dogs that were already enrolled. And then by the time they had space, Elsie was too old. So they said she can go to surviving adolescence. But I'd say though, my biggest tips for getting a puppy have treats that they really like, get toys, 
that work their brains a bit. Yeah. We use toys oh, like this. There's this one that actually we got from a brand called PetSafe. They sent us as a gift. Is this it? One of these? Yep. And then our trainer actually recommended the same the exact PetSafe toys. ones. So these are probably a great choice. These, we have three. Um, one for each girl. And you can freeze broth in there, which we've actually never done. You can stuff treats. I cut up some apples for a low-cal snack for Lily. Mm -hmm. um, and peanut, peanut butter, butter is the best one you can give them. Just something, it. it's like a peanut like butter. Like a way for them to work their brains and get the treats them out. super busy. Or so, we have treat balls that the puppy really likes. So it's like a ball just, and yeah. she has to roll it and figure out how to get the treats out. And making sure they're like getting socialized. So they told us Number between one. before 16 weeks, they should meet 100 people, which is a little bit hard right now. Rosie's pretty much met that many dogs. <laughs> it's a lot of dogs, yeah, but of dogs. we take her out to play. She's met all of those other dog owners. Yeah, so she's met a lot of people. A lot of friends of friends. ours. All and different kinds of people. We're working on like showing her all of these different people and all these situations so that she doesn't get scared of any of them. Because you only have until they're no longer like a puppy, like 16 weeks, yeah. to expose them to these things before they like kind of solidify into what they like and what they don't like, and then yeah. you could have a free cat of an animal. And I would say, honestly, YouTube is a great resource yeah. for dog training tips and things like that. Uh, also, puppy proofing space. I think a lot yeah. of people get really frustrated because, I they mean, you have things. to constantly watch your puppy. You have to. You it's, do. It's a full-time job. Thing. I don't know how people can have a job and a puppy. No. Like, a job Like, how do you leave them? I don't know. I don't know. So, we have baby gates, and then everything in this area is pretty much puppy proofed. It is a lot of work. If you're it considering it, make sure you really, really think about it. But we work from home. We're home. We have two other dogs, so we knew what we were in for, and it's great. Yeah. It'll work. What's your favorite season, Allie? Of The Bachelor? Why would we be talking about the favorite season of The Bachelor? Season of, of weather. Oh, fall. Why would I be talking about The Bachelor? I don't know. Did living in a heteronormative world ever make you doubt your queerness? 100%. Yes. Oh my god, yes. I would have come out so much oh earlier god, in life yes. if I had known that it was like okay and if it hadn't been like pushed on me my whole life by yeah. society that because I'm a woman the only way I can be happy in life is to be with a man. It's the only thing that's normal. I feel like I only had representation of the queer community as like this thing that was like other and like you'd be bullied if you were gay. And I feel like if I would have had more representation of like happy, healthy, queer people and like healthy relationships and we're having memory card problems. But I would have come out so much sooner. How about yeah. you? Same. Same. Same, 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 same. And because I'm having camera problems, this is where we're going to end this the video. This is the end, folks. Thanks for see watching. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Right. We'll see you very soon, I'm sure. Yeah, as always. Okay, bye. Bye.